Hey everybody, it's Lon Sybin with another unboxing. Today it is the Azul Byte 3, and this was sent to the channel free of charge from Azul, and we'll be doing a full review of this on my main channel at lon.tv. This is yet another mini PC. It's running with an Apollo Lake processor, an N3450, that's a quad-core chip. It's got four gigabytes of RAM, 32 gigs of storage. It has an M2 SATA slot, so you can expand that storage. Maybe we'll take it apart in a minute and see what it's got in there. And they're claiming 4K at 60 frames per second when you plug it into a display that supports that. So let's take a look inside here. They want you to do a product review, of course, on Amazon after you take a look at it. There's the instruction manual, and here is the machine itself. Now, these are uh, fanless devices. We looked at their uh, little PC on a stick, and this one has a similar uh, heat spreader on the top. So it's got a metal top here. The rest of it feels like plastic, I think, but this part is metal. And uh, what we found with that little stick PC, which had one of these heat spreaders on it, was that it did very well uh, on its thermals. It fell short as a home theater PC because it did not support uh, lossless audio formats. We'll see if this one does any better with that. It uh, looks like it's got a little IR sensor here on the front, or maybe that's just the power light. We'll see when we uh, get this thing booted up and operating on the main review. So it looks like your power button is right here. Uh, on the back, we've got a headphone jack, a Kensington lock for locking it down on your desk and whatnot. Uh, two USB 3.0 ports, gigabit Ethernet, HDMI, VGA out, as well as a USB Type-C connector. This is not a uh, d uh, Thunderbolt, but we'll see if it does display port out in the main review. Uh, this is the bottom of it. We're going to take this apart real quick and see what is inside. But before we do that, let's see what we've got for a power cable here. And it looks like that is an IR sensor because they do have a remote control in the box. So that's kind of neat. That's a nice little feature we haven't seen on too many of these mini PCs before. Uh, this looks like some screws for your hard drive along with a uh, cloth to maybe keep it clean. Uh, this is the power adapter for the United States. And of course, here is the uh, power uh, brick itself. So not too big here. And I would imagine this is running at, uh, let's see, output at 12 volts at 2 amps. So a little bit better than some of the USB power we see on some of these little PCs. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is just uh, get the screwdriver out and let's see what is inside this computer. All right, so we got it all taken apart and let's take a look inside. One thing I'm really nervous about with this thing is that when I started unscrewing it, this metal plate just kind of flops around in there. I'm not sure what this is for unless it's some kind of FCC thing. Uh, now the processor is on the other side of the motherboard and it looks like the RAM is soldered on as well. So you can't upgrade the RAM on here it looks like, but uh, there are plenty of storage options. So we have a, a SATA connector here so you can plug in uh, a spinning drive or a solid state drive if you want. And then you've got the M2 SATA connector here and it looks like a full size M2 SATA connector. So you've got uh, a lot of room here to uh, install more storage, which is kind of cool. And I think what you do is attach your hard drive to the bottom of the plate here. Maybe this plate here is just where the drive rests when it's inside the computer. But uh, it's going to be a little hard to get this thing put back together properly because this thing is just flopping around inside of it. And I'm nervous about having metal uh, just flopping around inside of a case where you've got all these uh, circuitry connections going on. So just be a little careful with that when you take it apart. So again, no RAM upgrades on this one, but it does look like you can upgrade the storage quite substantially on it. Uh, the other thing that some people might want to do is uh, hook up one of those external GPUs. And we're going to be testing one in a couple of days where you can replace your Wi-Fi card and uh, throw in this GPU connector. And unfortunately, this one won't allow that because the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth radio is right here and it's soldered down onto the board. So you won't be able to do any crazy external GPU stuff with this thing, but uh, you can install plenty of storage on it. So we're gonna be doing a full review of this on the main channel, uh, so stay tuned for that. It's pretty reasonably priced here, about 200 bucks, so not a bad deal for what you're getting, but I think you'll probably want to get some extra storage for it because it only comes with 32 gigs uh, out of the box. So stay tuned, more, lots more to come, and this is Lon Sybin, thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by my Patreon supporters, including Gold Level supporters, the Black Eyed and Blues Music Hour podcast, Chris Allegretta, John Prawl, William Miller, and Kalyan Kumar. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash Patreon to learn more.
And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv s.